Yo, what's up guys, it's Albie here, finally back at it again with another banger. I got pretty sick, so I stopped recording for a bit, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm still a little sick right now, but we're still gonna do this shit anyways. Right before I get into the story, as y'all know, most of these stories come from me and my friends flipping around, which reminds me of today's sponsor, which is Flipping Cool Spatulas. Flipping Cool Spatulas is a small family owned business working to get useful and sexier spatulas into people's kitchens. They make handcrafted exotic wood spatulas made for mixing, flipping, and scraping. Go to flippingcoolspatulas.com. That's F L I P P I N C O O L S P A T U L A S. Dot com. That's flippingcoolspatulas.com. Use code ALBY to get free shipping on your next order. Also, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps the channel a lot, and I appreciate all the support that I get. Without further ado, let's get straight into the story. So this story takes place all the way back in 2019 with Bill, David, and Zoe, and a ton of other people. So on this fateful day, Zoe was throwing a kickback at her crib, and, you know, of course, me, Bill, and David were gonna pull up to it. You know, obviously, we're all trying to get faded as fuck, so Bill's brother gives us a ride to Zoe's crib, and this is where the night truly begins. So, you know, me, Bill, and David, we all pull up. You know, the kickback is pretty normal. I don't really remember what we're doing at this point, because it's so long ago, but we were probably just smoking and chilling while a ton of people pulled up. We had maybe around 13 people like other people besides us at Zoe's crib. So we're probably just smoking like we usually do until someone decides to bring out a bottle. Now I remember this bottle so vividly cause it was like a vodka bottle but they put pink lemonade inside of it. I'm not gonna lie that bottle tasted hella good so I drank hella from it so I got hella drunk off that bottle. And everyone has told me my memory of that night is a bit off, and that is definitely true because there's some things I literally cannot remember just because I was way too drunk. And you know who else was drinking hella? Bill and David. Now more importantly, Bill. Now this is the problem. At this time, we obviously didn't know this, so we've learned from our mistakes, and you guys should too, so please listen up so some shit like this doesn't happen to you. Now the problem was, Bill was on medication, more specifically antidepressants. Now I do not remember which ones he's taking specifically, but the problem was they did not mix with the alcohol well at all. So of course we are completely oblivious to this fact and Bill is just fucking drinking hell out the bottle. This dude's a demon, he's taking hella shots and that would be a nightmare for us later. So after we're done all drinking and smoking, I remember the majority of us went by the trampoline for some sort of like fighting, I don't remember what it was, it was like a friendly boxing match or slap box, some shit like that. So this is the point when I realized, huh, Bill and David are gone, so I asked other people and they, no one can seem to know where they are. Now as I said before, my memory is pretty fuzzy on this night, so I cannot remember exactly how I found them. But eventually, we grouped up again, and Bill is just freaking out, like, at the front of the house. He's, like, just tweaking. I think he just keeps saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, for, like, no reason. We cannot figure out why, and we're like, okay, this dude is too drunk. He needs to go back inside. So I guess we were causing enough noise at the front for someone, uh, I'm gonna call him John, to notice and try to help us out. So we're obviously like, yo, Bill, you gotta get inside right now. And he just starts freaking out still. So this motherfucker tries running from us out into the street. Now obviously he was wasted so he didn't get really far. So John was able to get him and we were able to carry him back into the crib. Now at this point, Bill is just, it's obvious he's just fucked at this point. This dude is majorly blackout drunk. He can't even talk anymore. He's not being responsive to us at all. So we get him back into Zoe's room, and now this part is kind of crazy, because we had, like I said, 13 other people. I swear, all of us were in Zoe's tiny ass room. There was no room for, like, any of us. It was pretty fucked inside of here. And of course, everyone's attention is just drawn to Bill, because he's just stumbling well, on what little room there is. He's just crashing in the walls, like, falling into the bed. This drunk as fuck, and everyone's just, like, I guess we're kind of laughing at him, because we don't really know what to do. Now eventually, as a joke, some girl just stood up, looked Bill in the eyes, and was like, yeah, fight me. 
and Bill's standing up too, they're like right next to each other, they're like seeing eye to eye, Bill just turns around and just puts his hands on the wall, it's, it, it was some crazy ass shit. So maybe about another minute of him just stumbling around, drunk, not saying a goddamn word, just being completely unresponsive. This dude, I, I remember this part too, I was just sitting on the floor, he just face plants into the pile of clothes right next to me. And that is the moment this turned into an absolute nightmare function. Right after that is when Bill just starts vomiting everywhere, and we couldn't get him to the bathroom because Bill would just not stop puking. Also, shout out to that dude John, he was just holding Bill up the entire time so he wouldn't choke on his own vomit and fucking die like that bitch from Breaking Bad did, bro. Like, John was a real G, he was just getting vomit all over himself because Bill was vomiting for god knows how long, non-stop. And I remember at one point he was saying like, yeah bro, I'm doing this because I'm on probation and I can't get caught being at this party. Which, even if that was true, he's still a fucking real one for going through all that shit for us. I'm not gonna lie, I also do not remember this part, but David called Bill's brother to come pick him up and just help us the fuck out because we are in a horrible situation here. After a while, Bill finally stops throwing up for a little bit, so we carry him to the living room. And I remember, while we were carrying him to the living room, of course he threw up a bit more. This dude got vomit on my white shoes, and I swear to god, those same white shoes had that vomit stain for a minute. It was pretty fucking gross. So we finally get Bill into the living room on the couch or something like that. And this is the point where I'm like, okay, I gotta get home because I do not want to be seen here when Bill's parents pick him up to take him to the hospital. So I'm like at the front door getting ready to leave. They're holding Bill up and I'm dapping everyone up and I try to dap Bill up. And I remember he was like not really responsive at first, but then I'm like, Bill, you gotta dap me up before I go. Come on, man. And this dude like slowly raises up his hand with like the weakest form of all time for a dap but i get that dap up in the weakest dap but that's how i knew he was still alive you know he wasn't completely dead at this point so we're gonna be chilling in the end now since i was a fucking mastermind i plotted that i was gonna go across the street from the crib to where uh bill's parents couldn't see me when they were picking him up because the way back home for me was the way to the hospital so i didn't want to be seen because they would have known i was obviously there if I was walking, so I was waiting there for a bit, and while I was waiting there, I was trying to get a ride. I did not have a ride home, so I'm just hitting everyone up on Snapchat, and eventually I see Bill's parents in their truck take them all from like hella far, I'm like fucking spying on them, and then I watch them drive away, and that's how I know I'm good to go to start walking home. Now I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to walk home, and I didn't think I was going to, but no one could give me a ride. In fact, I was so desperate for a ride, that I called my homie Emma, and since my phone was at 1%, I had to stop using Snapchat, but I called my homie Emma, I'm like, yo, you gotta log into my Snap, hit up all these people for me, and see if any of them could get me a ride. So sadly, no one was able to give me a ride, so I just start walking back home, and while I'm walking back home, I just hear my phone die while I'm on the phone with Emma. Now that was probably one of the worst moments in my life because that meant I had to walk home all by myself without the phone, completely in the dark. And it wasn't a close walk either, it was probably like a 35 minute walk which isn't too much but when you're wasted as fuck and it's completely blackout it is scary as shit. And what was even worse is this road is legitimately scary as fuck, the main road back to my house is hella long. And there's no sidewalk, there's no lights, it's just completely, a, just a dark straight road. And I was just praying to god that nobody tried to fuck with me or anything like that, cause I was helpless at this point. Now obviously I made it back home, I was drunk as fuck, uh, I just called a few people when I got home, I just told them what the fuck happened. And I just went straight to bed. I was worried as shit because I was texting uh, one of my friends who just saw Bill in the hospital. And they're like, yeah, they're getting transferred to so another hospital. And I think they got their stomach pumped and shit because they were like on the verge of death, bro. You know, Bill recovered eventually. Everything was all good at the end. No one got in serious trouble. Really, there's no like actual legal repercussions for any of us, which is great. I feel bad for Zoe. She had to clean up all that shit. And it was all over her clothes in the room too, which must have been pretty fucking awful. 
And yeah, that's really it. Moral of the story is make sure you aren't on any medication that will badly mix with alcohol because you are going to get fucked up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share the video too. I appreciate all the support that I get. I love all y'all. Make sure to use code ALBI on flippingcoolspatulas.com for free shipping on your next order too. And peace out y'all.